Hello. Are current account deficits problems for countries? Britain has a current account deficit of about 2% of its GDP. The USA has a current account deficit of 7% of its GDP. That's a lot of overspending being done, a lot of money flowing out of the country. But some people believe it's not a problem and that current account deficits can cure themselves. Why do they believe that? Well, if a current account deficit exists, it must mean that a country is, let's say, to put it simply, spending more on foreign goods and services than it is selling to foreigners from its own goods and services. Take America, for example. In the dollar market, there is an equilibrium position. Demand, supply, this is the equilibrium price of dollars. Pounds per dollars are currently about 0.5. This is the pound per dollar, the price of the dollar expressed in pounds. And there is an equilibrium price of about 0.5 pounds per dollar. If America fails to sell as many goods as foreign goods that it's buying, then the demand and supply curves will shift. Fewer foreigners are buying American goods, the demand for American dollars falls. Likewise, Americans are buying more foreign goods, they have to sell their dollars or supply their dollars to buy the foreign currency to buy the goods. Consequently, supply of the dollar increases, demand for the dollar falls, and we have a new equilibrium position, which is a cheaper dollar. Let's say the dollar falls to 0.4 pounds. And once the dollar is cheaper, this raises the competitiveness of American goods around the world. It should boost their exports. Likewise, it makes foreign goods appear more expensive to Americans, and so they should buy fewer imports. If there is a boost in exports and a reduction in imports, that should improve the current account. So, what I'm saying is that a current account deficit leads to a depreciation of the currency, which itself leads to an improvement in the current account. Well, that's the theory, but the condition known as the Marshall Lerner condition states that that will only occur, in other words, a depreciation will only improve a current account if the combined elasticities of the demand for exports and of the demand for imports add up to more than one. That is usually the case. The demand for exports and the demand for imports would have to be very inelastic, very unresponsive to the price change for them not to combine add up to more than one. So it usually does happen that a depreciation of a currency will improve the current account. So why hasn't it happened? Because what America, the USA, has had a current account deficit since 1980, and it's getting worse. One reason why some analysts believe it hasn't happened in America is that the current account deficit has not been big enough, and only in recent years, when the current account deficit has crept over 5% of GDP, have we started to see the dollar fall. So perhaps the theory is sound, but it just takes a significant, a significant current account deficit size to actually have the effect uh, of reducing the value of the currency and leading to an improvement in the, in, the, uh, in the current account deficit. Of course, other things drive current account deficits as well, the, the actual productivity uh, of, um, of the country's goods. So, you know, maybe America's uh, or USA's GDP, uh, sorry, current account deficit is is continuing to, uh, to remain because of the arrival of much more competitive goods from especially Asia, of course. It isn't only about the value of the currency. But this is an interesting idea, that the depreciation of the currency is caused uh, by the deficit, but it itself causes an improvement as exports become more competitive and imports less competitive. Okay? Thank you.